Hello everyone, we're the Vienna String Quartet. My name is Tate. I'm Aiden. I'm Lucy. And I'm Hal. We're thrilled to be here performing for you a wonderful selection of string quartets and a piano quintet with our dear friend and colleague Rodolfo Leone. We chose these pieces today because they represent some of our favorite works, pieces that we love to play across the timeline of classical music. And the name Viano uh, is, a, is a word that we describe to put the four of us together as one instrument.
the piece we're about to play is the fourth movement from Beethoven's Opus 59, number three. And um, when we were thinking of our final round piece for the Banff competition, actually there were a couple of pieces that we were deciding between. Um, it was between 59-2 and 59-3, or the two contenders mm -hmm. for the final the round. Finalists. And um, we listened to both of them. And then when we heard the 59-3, this last movement, I think that was the moment we decided, okay, this one's the one we have to play. There's so much energy, there's so much fire, so much drive, so much everything in this piece. And it really, you know, it's one of those pieces that really raises the roof for an audience and it's so incredibly exciting. Um, and yeah, it's a piece that we love a lot and it's a piece that we love playing every single time we play it. There's this joy to this movement, especially in this movement, and every time I just feel really, really happy playing it. So I think for me that's really important. It just brings out this like joy of life somehow. And I think Beethoven was feeling that when he wrote it too. Um, it's also wonderful because everybody gets featured in this movement. It's not just a, a violin solo with three <laughs> people accompanying. And you know, the cello, at one point I had to go all the way up the C string, so that's, that's pretty fun. And everybody gets their moment. Thank you. 
The next piece we have for you is Jesse Montgomery's Strum. We encountered this piece about a year ago and immediately upon listening to it, we loved it. I think for me, my favorite thing is the rhythm of this piece. Um, playing second violin, I have a lot of um, cool pizzicato um, rhythmic figures and I think that's, that really shows the, I think the almost fiddly and folk-like elements that Jesse includes in this piece. And I think if it makes you want to dance, then I think we've done something right.
String Quartet Number Two, the full thing. Um, I forget whose wish list piece it was originally, but I think we've all really fallen in love with it. It's unique in that uh, Prokofiev wrote this after he had moved safely away from the war into this like tiny little area of Russia, and he was exploring the folk music there, and he creates this really unique sound in the piece that's this mixture of the haunting folk melodies and harmonies of the, um, of the area. 
and his usual super theatrical style. Well, I think my favorite is the second movement. Um, it's very, very haunting in the beginning, and there are these really beautiful melodies, and all of a sudden in the middle, there's this really, really playful kind of, I don't know, it, it's almost like ballet or, or puppets, and I really like that. I remember listening to it for the first time and thinking, that's so cute. Uh, there's this really fine line, there's this balance in Prokofiev between something very angular and then something that's incredibly lyrical and beautiful. And I think in this piece, you can really hear that contrast, and that's always very fascinating for us to bring out.
Uh, we, we lived together for um, three months in the spring, and then before that, three months in the fall uh, during COVID. And uh, we basically got together because we needed to rehearse and prepare pieces because we anticipated that live concerts or virtual concerts would be happening again very soon. And so, you know, we got together and we rehearsed, and I think that was really the time where we spent a lot of time together and you know, we really got to know each other very, very well. Even yeah. better. Even better than we already did. <laughs> Going back to the, the beginning of, of Viano, that's one of the main elements that brought us together as, as a group, is that love for performance. And you know, our first performance on stage, it was kind of eye-opening, because none of us had experienced that type of um, connection with three other people yeah. before. And it was electrifying. And I think all of us were hungry for more of that. And so that's something that we've kept, and that's something that draws us together 
every, every performance, and, and we find it's getting stronger and stronger. I think, I think when we play, we try to tell a story, and I think the narrative of the music is very important to us. And I think for us, um, you know, there are four of us, and I think, you know, we all tell different stories as we're playing, but I think what comes out as we're playing is that there is some kind of unified story or narrative that we're telling. So we're trying to um, kind of weave together, you know, some kind of, you guys, you guys know what I mean? Yeah. We like, always try to tell a narrative, and we always talk about that narrative before we go on stage and mm -hmm. have a collective mindset as to what that story is. And we try to project that and bring the audience in to what story we're, we're trying to tell. I'm so thrilled to play again with my friends, to be on the string quartet. Um, it's very special every time we play together because everything feels just so natural. And what we really don't have to discuss too much about our uh, approach to the music because it really all falls into place mm -hmm. as soon as we run through. Uh, once, so. Yeah. Um, we're not just colleagues, we're also great friends. So that just makes the music making so enjoyable and fun. That's true. Mm -hmm.